Hi, this is Paul Thompson. I'm down here at the Chester Community Garden on a late January day and a little bit early to be pruning muscadines, but I wanted to get a clip of this uh, for an upcoming presentation. Uh, but if you see here, we got muscadine vines growing down a single wire, which is usually the easiest way to grow muscadines because of the fact uh, if you do two wires, it just makes that much more of a mess that you have to prune every year. Uh, and production is really good just with a, a single, what's called a cordon, which is a permanent fruiting branch that's trained down the stem over a couple of years. Uh, and basically all you want to do with a, a muscadine vine as far as pruning is just get rid of all this last year's growth. Uh, so we'll be pruning back these uh, branches that have come off the cordon uh, down to uh, little stubs that might have two or three buds on them. Usually it's somewhere around two, three, four inches uh, long that you uh, leave on there. And as messy as this looks, it really is it's pretty easy to prune a muscadine vine. So uh, here in this case, we got, just gonna start here. Uh, you can see buds, there's a bud there, there's a bud there, there's gonna be a bud on the other side of that stem. So I'm cutting that back to three buds. On here, we don't have a lot of depth, we do. So we're basically just cutting these back. Uh, so there's just a several buds for each spur coming off of that thing. Now we're, here we have some branching that's occurred. So we've got a whole lot here. We don't want to let all those develop uh, growth. It'll get kind of crowded. I'm going to completely remove some. So I've only got one left, and now I'm going to come down here and find a few uh, little stub with a few buds on it. So we just work our way down. All right, so uh, we're only pruning so much today. Pruned it almost all the way back to the vine. Uh, this took about five minutes, uh, maybe ten. Uh, to go down. So what we're looking at, short spurs uh, with several buds, uh, usually two, three, maybe four. You also want them kind of spaced out uh, down here. Um, you know, with some of them we had a lot of growth, a lot of branching that have happened uh, the previous year, so we're still, we're cutting it back. We don't want to leave buds along this and buds along this, so we're removing some. Uh, the other thing to look for, and uh, at the age these vines are now, you don't typically get this happening, but when you're first starting off and you're getting that fruiting cordon trained down this wire, these tendrils that it makes uh, sometimes will wrap around the cordon. And so if you see any tendrils that are wrapping around a part of the vine that's being left behind, you wanna cut those off. Uh, but these things are large enough diameter, and now the tendrils typically don't wrap around it uh, too much. But uh, the other thing that you might see, and this really isn't showing it here, but um, you know, uh, a lot of times when you prune a, a muscadine vine, especially if you do it about mid to late February, uh, you're going to get a lot of weeping from those pruning wounds, and it'll it'll just physically drip. You can stick a cup underneath each one of these cuts and probably catch you know an inch of water over the course of a day. Uh, in a small cup and so uh, that's nothing to worry about. It's kind of a uh, uh, protective type of thing with all that water pressure uh, keeps things from entering that pruning wound. Uh, so really nothing to worry about. It's not going to bleed to death uh, but that's really pruning um, a muscadine in a nutshell and uh, if you don't prune and you just let it go uh, you won't get the fruit production that you will get if you will prune and kind of limit the fruiting area, uh, you get much a lot nicer clusters and a lot more clusters by uh, doing this kind of heavy pruning uh, each and every uh, winter, uh, typically during mid to late February.